just got a good luck card in my pigeonhole from my director of studies, or rather my old one. He's retiring this year. Two days to go now before I start. I'm so close to the end. I haven't even started yet. This weekend will, of course, include revision, but also more relaxation, I think, so I'm not stressed out for the day of the exam. I'm revising algorithms, and there's an example here about topological sort, and basically this silly example is saying you need to put socks on before shoes, and the, the arrow means put this thing on before that thing. But listen to the sentence that describes this. A directed edge indicates that garment U must be donned before garment V. Have you ever heard such a posh sentence to describe such a silly example? The people at the other side of the road, I don't know who they are, but they're having a barbecue again. And it smells really nice, and that's not fair. I'm now one day away from the first exam. Tomorrow is when they start. I'm feeling worried now. Today I'm going to do laundry, then go to Sainsbury's, and then probably revise for most of the afternoon. Although I don't know what to revise today, this is when it's helpful to have exams more spread out so you can concentrate on one paper at a time, get it over with, then revise for the next one. But since mine are just one after each other, I can't really do that. And I also can't revise everything today. I've done as much revision as I can bear to take. It's dinner time now. I'm going to eat and then just try to stay calm for the rest of the night. The people over the road who keep having a barbecue are having one at lunchtime. And they're having another one now for dinner. I mean, what? Who has this many barbecues? I've been quite relaxed this evening. Watched some TV. Now, I'm going to go to bed and when I wake up, it will be exam day. Well, it's finally here. The first exam of the year is this afternoon, so I'm just going to do final bits of revision before lunch. This is the stuff I'm going to be examined on today. It includes algorithms to C and C++ compiler construction, concepts in programming languages, further Java, prologue, and software engineering. One hour to go on my way to the computer lab now. I'll be done in three hours. First exam is done. Doing the exam was just horrible. Three hours. I've never thought so much for a year since the last exams. The paper was actually not too bad. I think I've done okay, but I probably shouldn't think about it too much now and concentrate on the next exam, which is the same time tomorrow. I've just watched WWDC, uh, which is Apple's yearly worldwide developer conference, which is when they announce all their new software and developer stuff. Of course, I've got another exam tomorrow, and I need to do a bit more revision for that just to refresh all of the right stuff in my mind. But, obviously I'm sitting outside right now. I'm just outside of Queens. Uh, that's Queens right there. And there's this nice grassy area just around Queens, around the back. So I'm just relaxing a bit. The exam today was three hours long, and it was, like, really intense. I hate long exams. Before university, all my exams at A-level were just an hour and a half. I could deal with those. Three hours is a long time to be sitting staring at a paper. And with four exams over four consecutive days, it, I, need, I need to de-stress and relax in between them. Of course, other people have it worse than me. Four exams over four days is not nice, but I think the engineers, they have like eight exams in five days, which is, just sounds horrendous. Natskis, they end up with some of them at like 27 hours of exams overall which is a lot compared to my 12. And some of them have exams on Saturdays, so there are plenty of people with, in worse situations with exams than me, but mine is still not fun. I'll be happy on Thursday when they're all over. And even though they could be a lot worse, I think it's still important that I keep myself relaxed so I can focus tomorrow and not be mentally exhausted. I feel like I need to be really careful with how I word these things in case any of you kind of take my to take what I say as advice and apply it to yourself. Um, because when I say I'm relaxing and not doing revision right now and I'm just sitting outside and enjoying the night, um, you can't take that and use that as an excuse not to do revision for your own exams. I'm going to go back to my room in like 10 minutes and revise. I'm going to revise again tomorrow, so you do need to, to work. Don't take what I'm doing 
out of context and don't try to apply it to your life because mine is different. On a different topic, going slightly back to WWDC, the next video I'll be uploading to YouTube is vlog 17, I think. And that's the one where I went looking for phones um, because my iPhone, which I'm still using because I never actually bought a new one, the battery in it is really bad and it runs out of power really quickly. Like today I've hardly used it at all because I've spent most of the day in the exam. You would be able to see this if the camera would focus quickly, but it doesn't. But it's on 17% and it really shouldn't, it should be more like 60-70%. So I was looking for new phones but I never actually bought one, I thought I'd just stick with this for as long as I could bear it. And it's been okay, mostly. I can deal with it running out of power quickly. Just charge it twice a day. I was hoping that Apple would release a new iPhone. That would be just brilliant. I'd really want it, but obviously, no announcements. So, just to give you an update on this, that isn't months out of date. I'm still using my iPhone 4S. I never bought a new phone. The battery is worse than ever. I'm charging this like four times a day now. But Apple have obviously now announced and released the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus. I've ordered an iPhone 6, a 128GB space grey iPhone 6 with a black leather case and I should be getting that in about three weeks. The last thing that's on my mind, apart from exams, which is the most pressing issue right now, but it, this camera, I've been using it for quite a few months to, to vlog everything, but I haven't actually edited any of the video from it because, as I keep mentioning, I'm really far behind with the vlogs. I apologise for that, but I'm busy. But that means I've ended up with like 100 gigabytes of video and I don't even know how any of it's turned out. I probably should have reviewed it a bit more. So hopefully the last like 10 vlogs or something have been okay. I have looked at the video and from what I can tell the video, the video quality is really good. Much better than the iPhone. Audio I'm not so impressed with. Um, it's not too bad but there's a lot of noise. I know that. So apologies for that. And hopefully nothing in the video has changed since I dropped it and damaged it a bit. That was pretty bad, but from what I can see, everything is fine. Anyway, it's been nice talking to you out here, outside of Queens tonight, but I best go back and do something a bit more productive. The next time I talk to you will be tomorrow before exam number two. Thanks for watching.